on the next boring adventures of uh forget it. it's not about boring adventures all right so i'm actually going to do a discussion about patrolling 2.5 um pretty much you know the creation process things about what how i uh what i did to make it um patrolling 2.5 was actually a collaboration between my brother jermaine fraser and i um he actually wrote the the dialogue the scripts and everything that came into play for that uh, animation i pretty much just did the animation chunk you know he's a i would call him the brainchild behind that um, patrolling 2.5 actually continued where patrolling 2 left off. It was, um, it's, you know, it's, it's in between 3. That's, that's all we can actually clarify it as right now. But, uh, 2.5 really pretty, pretty much picks up right after, um, uh, Venus, the traitor, where she actually, uh, she, she was a traitor. She, you know, betrayed the captain and the crew, Gina, and don't even ask me how I forgot her name, but pretty much betrayed the crew. And so, you know, we're just trying to, you know, get to why she betrayed them, which is not really explained in this episode. But hopefully we'll be able to explain it further in episode 3 and then the probably final episode 4. So, um, we'll see how it goes. So, right now I'm just pretty much explaining how how I uh, got to the creation process of, uh, for the patrolling 2.5. Um, what I actually did. Some little tricks that I actually executed in it. Like, for example, let me just go along so you can see. So I'll just play it down. This is pretty much the behind. I'll turn, I'll turn off the sound. We don't want any sound in this one right now. So pretty much my brother, he actually has sent me a sound bite. It was uh, him just tell, saying, you know, he, you know, he's telling me he's apologizing for the delay. And I was like, man, that sounds like a great little thing that I can use for this, uh, for the animation. And that's what I did, you know, just use that little segment, I spliced it in to, to make it seem unique. And you know, as you can see, there's the ship about to blast through, and it's in. Yep, you're getting to see the whole behind the scenes of how I crop everything into play. Yeah, as you see that little trick, pretty awesome. Um... Then I, you know, I tried my best to do a little frame by frame animation here. Ooh, looks like I missed something there, but eh, whatever. Um, and what I normally do is I will have like, let me go into it a little bit further, which, let's see, let's see, I think it would be, okay, so let me just turn off certain things so you can see some trickery here. That's a fader. What do I call it? I call it... Let's get to that layer. Okay. And I have like a little transparency layer to give it a sense of lighting. So let's turn it off. So now we need to get to that thing. So we are here. So we're going to go into that a little bit. And as you can see, I created like, you know, different little, I just did like a motion animation for the doors opening and frame by frame animation and coming down it's a little sloppy I would say I'll get better over time so anyway, it was done so you see it was done it was done on twos here so there's twos and then I did one 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 and then went back to twos. And then of course, if you go out back to it, you can see that I did, I zoomed out of the ship. Zoomed up there. Okay. Crop, crop, let me turn this off here so you can see. I'm gonna give you a whole view. Yes, that's our booty. Um, And the background is actually was a 3D, a 3D thing that I just rotated. And I just zoomed into it there. And yeah, we're, you know, trick of the camera. You gotta love the trick of the camera. The walk. And then, of course, this was a little, 
this was actually um, something I was messing around with when I came about with this. Where's that? I don't need that one. With um, this design here. See how unique that is. That's pretty cool. And um, it's pretty much broken down into three different things. It has that outer ring, inner ring, and then, well, actually more than that. But I was just trying different shapes to actually give it just a, you know, something a little bit more futuristic, futuristic look. And um, I did different shapes there to give it like that arc. Okay. And what I normally do is I, I would actually have like a fade thing. Like this is actually, you know, grayscale. I mean, not grayscale, um, gradients. To give it that, you know, give it a look, give it a lighting. You want know, to, you want to you wanna try to give your thing some form of atmosphere. So I give this kind of a, a great, uh, a gradient lighting. And we have the background this, this slightly panning. Three ship character and the shots. And uh, I do something called a metronome. Like see, base, you know, like see that thing that's going down. That actually goes with the beat. So if you actually listen to it, if you actually hear the beat, now let's turn it up so you can hear. Let me see if it's gonna do the beat. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so basically, if you listen carefully. It goes by the beat itself. So it gives me a sense of pacing, timing, and knowing how to actually make the cuts. Because the cuts are pretty much on the beat. Most of the cuts or direct cuts are on the beat. So the ship comes in. Let me go back. Where was I? Where did I stop? Okay, so she's there. Again, nothing too crazy. Very simple. There we go. And then, of course, a little trick. You know, it's just pretty much when you go into each... Um, where's that ship? I grabbed one of the ships. Let's see. I pretty much did like a mask. So if you look into it a little bit further... So let's say, for example, go to him. I have his own mask layer, and the mask is just da 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 So it's all broken down. So it's individual ships. So you see, they come in, and then I fade them in. So it's give it that atmospheric look. Get back out so you can see it. Boom, one, doom, doom, doom. You know, you have to come up with your own little effects. You know, you create your own effects to give it that that look. Again, normally what I do is like say for example with um I'll just give you a perfect example of something like say with let's say using this what I'm referring to when I'm showing you this I'm talking about this look here is I'll grab something like that then I go to like uh very simple nothing too crazy I go to either soft edge that and it gives it that look and then it's really cool it gives it that really really cool look and that's one of the little tricks I do for certain things you know like because I try not to I try to use flash entirely for a project I try not to do out too much in Photoshop unless I have to because you know I just keep everything vector and then of course the background is just you see you just pacing with that And, that. and if you look at it zoomed in on the character, it's pretty cool. You know, I really try to do go out loud when I'm doing something. 
So I'll go in on him. Let me see. Can I bring him up? I'll bring him up so you can see him better. There we go. He's trying to block it. And right here, most things get a little frame by frame. If you go into, let's say, probably him. Who is this? Yeah. A lot of little tricks, nothing insane, nothing over the top, nothing yeah, you're going to cry about. Let's see, this, I don't remember what that is on. Yeah, one of those things. All right. bits there we go with this shield again remember I showed you that thing where I did so I pretty much just remove each ramp and that's a little bit fast but it's all about you know layouts you know it's all about how you're planning how you set things up you know to give it that look so once you give that look that's what really makes your work pop so if you plan things up properly, you can actually get some really ridiculous things. It's all about framing, layouts, and everything else in that thing. Alright, so that's all I'm going to go about on this one. And if you want anything specifically regarding patrolling or any of the animations that I do, I can actually get go, go into the grind. This is just like a quick, you know, behind the scenes. Alright then. Peace out. Talk to you then.